Here's the uh, basically a dust boot that goes up the, the mast of the main rotor blade. Make sure that's there's no rips, no tears. Here's a rotating swash plate. Make sure everything's still nice and tight. I say that quite a bit, but I can't overemphasize it enough. Here's the scissor arm that goes from the rotating swash plate up to the actual mast and head itself for stabilization. It's a good idea to start your pre-flight, say, right here. So when you turn the blades to inspect each blade, when that scissor arm comes back around, you know you've completed everything and you haven't missed anything. Right above the, your dust boot, see this ring that goes around the mast? When you push the blades up and down, uh, we won't do that inside, but that is your droop stop, okay? This whole, that whole ring will move depending on how the blades are tilted. So uh, when it reaches the limit, you'll start to feel it bump. And similar to the R22, the R44, really anything, you'll start to feel it hit its limits. At that point, you should probably choose a different hill, probably too steep. Here's your dampener bearing. On the bottom, you can see how this really allows it to lead and lag. Um, this blade, to really test this blade out, you'd hold both blades and press one of them back and forth. Make sure this bearing's working properly. You can see how this that whole pin, you know, pushes the linkage left and right, which obviously you can see the limits. You go all the way to the right stop and all the way to the left stop. I'm telling you, each one of these blades, they all have the dampener bearing, the uh, the washers. That is all for balancing each blade, so all of them weigh the same. Everything is running nice and smooth. Right now, we're on top of the aircraft, still in the front portion of the mast. You can see all these push-pull tubes coming up to control the swash plate and the different uh, uh, sequencing for, you know, different, if you go left, left cyclic, what that'll do, if you go right, what that'll do, and how each one of those correlates. You have your stationary swash plate that goes up to your rotating swash plate. You got your dust boots, scissor arm, make sure the bolts are installed with the cotter pins, rod ends. So when we're making the different inputs here, you can see the rod ends changing. Or the push pull tube changing. changing, changing the swash plate, changing the blades themselves. So it's kind of cool setup of how all this stuff works. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So inspecting the top of the blade. Here's your trim tab with the station 105. 111, 117, that's for track and balance. Here's your abrasion strip. Make sure that's nice and clean. You're going to be checking the top and bottom of the blade for check for hail. All right, so we just completed the pre-flight inspection on this MD500C model. Um, you know, we didn't use the checklist, but we are going to now just to verify that we have done everything. Um, by going over the checklist afterward, that will ensure that, you know, if we forgot something, going through the checklist should bring anything to memory. Beautiful aircraft. Hopefully we'll be getting a C-20B here in a little bit.